Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So guys, I'm going to show you how to create all of these three different gradient effects. So without much ado, let's get started. So for the first gradient design, we are going to create a gradient brush. You need to click on your create new layer icon. And on this layer, we are going to pick up our brush and you want to pick up just your regular brush tool. Click on your foreground, choose different colors and just brush it in. So I'm going to go to my filter and then go to blur, gushing blur. Now we are going to increase our gushing blur so we get something more like that. And I'm going to go ahead to go and click OK. So with this set, we want to go under our brush and you want to make sure you pick up the mix brush tool, go up to your menu, click and clean up brush. You need to go under your windows, go to brushes and we want to go to brush settings. You want to make sure that you have build up checked. So with that set, all you need to do is hold down options if you are on the Mac or Alt if you are on the Windows and just make sure that your eraser head is big enough to grab the three colors or the areas that you want to create as a brush and go ahead and pick a point. And notice that in the thumbnail in the menu bar, you can see the type of gradient brush is going to give you. Now we can turn this off and create a new layer and we can go ahead and brush and notice what it's giving you is very nice. Now, if you don't have this smooth transition, you will have to go back to your settings, make sure that your spacing saves 1% and you will have the same results as me. Now, we can reduce the brush head by clicking on your left or right bracket and you can add some more swells. If I want to change up the color, all I need to do is go back and clean up my brush and hold down my options. Make sure that I'm on the right layer, hold down options and I can choose. Now, notice that it only gave me between the two um, purple and pink. Now, if I want something around here, I can do that or I can increase my brush so I can get a blend of these two. So I have something like that. Now, if I turn this off and I add a new layer, I can reduce my brush head and notice what it gives me. And that is different from what we have here. So you can always change up your brush and have something unique. I can even go ahead and type in my name. So quest, so we can do Q. So this brings us to the end of the first tip of how to use the custom brush gradient tool technique. Now, next I'm going to show you how you can also create gradient form using the warp. Now we want to create a gradient, a gradient color um, scheme, but we don't want it on the black. So we're going to create a new layer. So we are going to do all our design on a blank layer. So you want to go ahead and pick up your brush tool. You want to right click and you notice that my hardness is a little bit away from the zero. So about a 26. Now I'm going to click on my foreground color, pick up any color that I want. And I'm just going to go ahead and start creating some um, designs. So with this all set, we are going to click on our Eclipse Marquee tool, hold down shift, and we are just going to draw a circle Make sure that you are within your canvas. Now we can move it to set it in the middle, making sure you're on the same layer, right click, 
make a copy and we are going to turn off the bottom we don't need that anymore click on your move tool and scale this down so we have our design to begin to walk so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a copy of this because i want to show you a more simpler design and a complex design so hold down command j make a copy we're going to turn off the top one now you need to make sure you click on your image go to edit transform and then choose warp now this is very simple so hold this end like that pull this out pull that to the top and do something like that and move this in a little so you have something like this now when you're ready with your design all you have to do is click the check at the top and basically it saves your form so this is one form that you can create with your gradient and your warp so i'm going to make a copy command j because i want to add noise to this design so i'm going to turn this off and for this one go to filter choose noise and then add noise now you have the choice of either increasing your noise or keep it very minimal so i'm going to do something like this and i'm going to click ok so you can see this is before now this is the after now if you want something more complex i'm going to show you how to do that so we're going to turn this off turn this back on so we're going to go under edit transform and choose the warp now this time you can just go under your custom and you notice that there are different options that you can choose off the bat that you don't have to do so much go ahead and add in throw in some more points like that and you can basically begin to create something unique with your um, design So once you have your shape, all you have to do is click on the checkbox and basically this is the shape that you have. So guys, this brings us to the end of the second gradient technique. I'm going to show you the third gradient technique that you can do using the angle gradient. I've already given a single tutorial on it, but I wanted to combine it all with all the different gradient techniques so you have a holistic video with all the tips in one place so the first thing we are going to do is to set our background and we are going to use the gradient so go under your adjustment and go and choose gradient double click on your gradient and we want to go under our purple and we are going to go ahead to choose a two-tone like that and we want to set one end to white so click on your color stop click on the color and go ahead and choose a white and click OK. Now we want to change the style to radial and we want to click on the reverse. So under your scale, click on reverse and we are ready to click OK. So with this set, we want to go ahead and begin to create our gradient shape. So you want to go under your shapes, click on your shape and pick your eclipse now you want to go and hold down shift and go ahead and draw a rectangle like that now you need to come in your fill color and we want to make sure that we choose the gradient fill now we want a two-tone so we are going to click on this one to create a two-tone we want to change this from a linear to an angle so we have something like this. I'm going to go ahead to scale this down. So you notice that we just have this one shape that we've created. So we are going to go ahead to make a duplicate. So you want to hold down Command J to make a duplicate. And we're going to move that up like that. Now we want to set the two together and basically match it. So we are going to click on the top one. And we are going to change the direction of the angle go under your property 
and click on your gradient and you see the angle on the bottom click to set it to the way you want it and we are going to try a 45 and you notice that it falls directly on the edge of the top circle so now that we have this we need to go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom. So I'm going to click on that image, click on my appearance, go to my angle and then rotate that, play with it a little to see where it lands. And it looks like we got it. So the first one is at 135. So we're gonna click on this one and we are going to click on our fill this stop all the way to the end because you see what it creates. So we're gonna leave it somewhere midpoint so that we get a very good, smooth transition. Now I'm going to click on the blue and we are going to choose a lighter purple for that. So I'm gonna choose somewhere like this. Ooh, I like it. And I'm gonna go ahead to click okay. Now I'm gonna take this back a little so we have a very nice gradual faded effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on that to close it. And I'm going to go on the bottom one, click on my gradient fill, and I'm going to go ahead and move my slider a little to the opposite so that we get this blue blending in and going into the other one like that. So with these two all set, we can go back to this one and then maybe move it back a little so we don't have the purple blending in with the white. So you see it's a very gradual effect. Now I can go back again and play with it a little bit more so we get a very good gradual blend. Select the other one. We're going to make a copy just in case we need the original. So command J, make a copy. Now we, so with this two layers selected, we're going to right click and we are going to convert it into a shape. So now we have one single image. Now, obviously the two on the bottom, we need to turn it off. Now this is what we have. This is very cool. So if you want to add a drop shadow effect, you can double click on it basically add a drop shadow something very light now if you want to increase the shadow you can click on it and increase the opacity if you want this is a very interesting and unique way of using the gradient angle and i just couldn't wait to share this little tip with you all so i hope you enjoy this please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next tutorial